I've been talking about ways that you might become more persuasive in talking to people about freedom. And it all starts with an understanding of government and the seven principles that I mentioned. They were, again, number one, government is force. Number two, government is politics. Number three, you don't control the government. Number four, power always grows. Number five, power is sure to be misused eventually. Number six, government doesn't work. And number seven, because of all the first six, government must be subject to absolute limits. Understand that when you're talking to someone, you don't have to bring up all seven of these principles. Uh, all you need is to bring up one of them, and maybe one of them will work with one person and not with somebody else. So it helps to become as conversant as you can with maybe three or four of these principles, the ones that you're most comfortable with. But I do strongly recommend that you bear down on the obvious fact that is so easily ignored, no matter how obvious it is, that government simply does not work. Now, these seven principles also lead to seven questions. You can just transform each of the principles into a question to ask somebody who is proposing a new government program or defending an existing one. Number one, do you really want to make this a matter of fines and prison terms? I understand your desire to see children educated or to do this or to do that, but do you really want to send people to prison who don't do what you want them to do in this particular case? Number two, do you really want to transform this matter, whatever it may be, into a political issue to be decided by politicians, the, whoever can come up with the most political influence, people like Bill Clinton, Trent Lott, Teddy Kennedy, or George Bush? Do you think that you have the political clout to overcome all these people? Because it's all going to become politics once Congress gets its hands on it or the state legislature. Number three, do you really expect that if this program were to be passed the way you want it, that it would retain its original size and scope forever without spreading into other areas of your life that you didn't intend it to spread into and affect you adversely? Number four, do you really think the program is going to operate in the way you imagine, knowing that you have no way to control it? You're not going to be in Washington to look over these people's shoulder and, and stop them whenever they go off in the wrong direction. Number five, do you really want to hand to the government power that can be misused in the future by some politician that you may despise? Number six, do you really believe this program or law will achieve its goal, knowing that no existing government program has matched whatever promises were made for it? Why in the world would you think that this program or law is going to work any better than all the failed programs of the past? And number seven, are you willing to breach the Constitution to have your way, knowing that this is just simply going to open the door ever wider to whatever tomorrow's politicians and special interest groups want to breach the Constitution for? I wouldn't think so.